about a game. It's a red skin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below any content y'all want to see. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you know about every time I post. So today I got baby girl showing, you know, because I noticed like in my videos you really don't be seeing my stomach. So, yeah. Um, But today, if you read that title, you already know what today's gonna be about y'all please do not mind my nails like i have to do my nails i just been procrastinating to do it today like i just had i just didn't feel like it like i don't be sitting like having my house smell like a nail salon or none of that so i'm debating if i'm gonna do a filling or if i'm gonna just take them off all together but yeah um we're gonna get into this video all right so yeah okay guys so this video is about how my parents reacted to me telling them that i was pregnant okay <laughs> this is interesting so um whew, i was kind of forced into telling my um dad about me being pregnant because a certain someone went and said something to okay so back up my boyfriend told his family that i was pregnant on friday i didn't know that he told them that so on sunday i found out and i went over there to talk to his people or whatever so apparently we're not gonna get into too much details because you know yeah we're not gonna get into too much because that's a whole other some other shit but um apparently somebody put a bug in my dad's ear about my boyfriend and me being over there on sunday so i end up having to go and was forced to tell my dad on monday when i was planning on telling him on so, um, I rushed to my mom's house and my dad was getting ready for work because at that time he went to work at night. So, he was getting ready to go to work and I came over there and my mom was like, she went there and told him, she was like, hey, Kalisha's here, you know, she want to talk to you before you go to work, hurry up and come downstairs, you know, so you can have time to talk to her before, she go, before you go to work. So... Um, I went to my mom's house and I was sitting downstairs and waiting for him for like five minutes. Y'all, when I tell you that was the longest five minutes of my life, like that was the longest five minutes of my life because my parents were going to be so disappointed in me. Like I already knew what was going to go down. Like it was just like, oh my gosh. So, um, me and my dad. My dad had came downstairs. I heard him, his footsteps. You can hear him. He, ooh, he, yeah, he be like loud. So I heard him walking down the stairs and I was getting nervous. And I was at the kitchen table and I was on this end. My mom was on my dad's end beside him and my dad was at the bar stool at the island. So he was beside, like we was diagonal from each other. So, <sighs> I was like, I gotta tell it, like, I'm reliving it. Like, my stomach's starting to hurt. I'm getting bubble guts just thinking about it. So, my dad was like, um, what's up? Like, what we gotta talk about? And I'm like, I got something to tell y'all. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's very disappointing. Um, but I have to tell y'all. And before I was even able to tell him, he was like, what, you pregnant? And I was like, oh, shit. 
I was like, I was smiling because I was so uncomfortable, y'all. You know, you watched my last video, you already know I said I smiled, I'm uncomfortable. I was like, yeah, I am. I was like, yeah, I am. Um, I'm sorry, like, I am. And my dad had got really upset and he said the stuff that the person had put in his ear about my boyfriend and it was just a lot. And then I never seen my dad so upset to the point where he didn't say anything to me. Like he just walked out the house. He didn't say nothing to me. Nothing to me. And he was like hurt. My mom was more, my mom was disappointed and she was hurt, but she was more understanding. Like, she was just like, you know, I'm going to help you because, you know, you in school, you, you trying to make, at least you're trying to make something of yourself. Like, you're not going to give up. You, you a hustler. You know what you want to do. Like, I'm going to help you. I'm going to watch her, watch her, watch her. My mom already knew I was, y'all, we're going to get into that, but I'm going to, um, watch the baby for you when you in school or when you got to go to work and stuff like that. When y'all both work and I'm going to watch the baby and stuff like that. And she just was like understanding because my mom had her first baby when she was um, 16 or 17. So she was very understanding. And like all my, my grandma had, um, well, Nana. My Nana had her child, her kid, her first child young. My aunt had her first child young. And then my mom had her first child young. And my other aunt had her first child young too. So, um, you know, I'm not no jet, like I'm I'm grown, but it's like I'm not, I'm not married and I don't have my career, like I don't have my career yet. So and I ain't even finished school, like I'm I'm a senior, I'm about to graduate college with my bachelor's, but I didn't finish, you know what I'm saying? So it's like she was very hurt and disappointed. And my dad was really hurt and disappointed. And I just texted him like this long, heartfelt message, like I love you and I'm sorry that I disappointed you. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the last thing I wanted to do. And, you know, just basically just gave him his, I said I was going to give him his space and his time. And he didn't respond, of course. But me and him didn't talk for a couple of days. Like, we went a couple of days without talking to each other. And then um, we just started talking again. It wasn't like... I'm his moo moo. So he called me when when we I called him or he called me, he was like, What's up, moo moo? So it wasn't like I was moo moo, but it was like, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> but we were still like talking and stuff and then he got over it. But it was like shit, like what can you do? Like, I'm having a baby. What can you do? My mom was more calm and collected. She was like she was like, honestly, if you didn't tell me the way you told me, I probably would have slapped you. Like, that's what she said. <laughs> and I was like, what? But she was more, like, understanding and more, like, calm and, like, you know. And I basically had to, like, tell my dad, like, this not stopping nothing. You know your child. You know I'm going to continue to do what I got to do. I'm going to continue to be in school. I'm going to continue to do what I got to do to better myself and for my child. Like, no, this is not stopping nothing. And, yeah, my parents knew, know my boyfriend, so, you know, yeah, they, they had, they, they talked with him, but, um, it was just, that's basically how they found out. My dad was really upset. He didn't talk to me for, like, some days, but I don't let my dad be mad at me. Like, I refuse to let him be mad at me. Like, I don't do that. I don't go for that. I don't know about other people, but I don't let my parents be mad at me. I, definitely not my dad, though. Like, I really... Do not let my dad be mad at me. I'm like, you ain't gonna be mad at me. Get over yourself. You love me. Like, <laughs> I be like, dude, you not gonna be mad at me. You not gonna treat me. No, no, no. We, we, I'm Moo Moo. You daddy. You not gonna be mad at me. So, yeah, that was more of the story. That's how my parent. How I told my parents. Um, yeah, it was very, very intense. Very, very nerve-wracking very very yeah but um uh, yeah everybody else after that it was like i told my grand oh my granddad is like really important like a really important person in my life so i told him my, my mom's dad and he was very like disappointed but he like he was disappointed and he apologized to me like i'm so sorry for like being like that towards you because 
you know, my mom was pregnant young and he seen how my Nana treated my mom because she was pregnant young. And he was like, you know, I apologize for treating you that way because, you know, you made a mistake or, you know, my child is not a mistake, but, you know, I she wasn't playing. So he was like, you know, you you wasn't doing this, um, planning it and it happened. And he was like very understanding, like, you know, I'm sorry, like we gonna I'm gonna help you with everything you need. You're gonna have so much help, so much love. Like and my granddad, he lives in Florida, but he always blessed us on our birthday, you know, like holidays and stuff. He just loved it. I'm his favorite. I'm his favorite grandchild. Period. Who wanna fight? What which one of my siblings or my cousins wanna fight about it? Cause I'm his favorite grandchild. And that's my mom's dad. My mom's sisters, they got different dad. That's my mama dad. Who wanna fight? What's up? Cause that's that's I'm his favorite grandchild ever. He loved me. I call him, we talk, he give me advice, we just we vibe out. He loved me. So he was just like, you know, whatever you need, I'ma help you. He talking about giving big gifts and like all this stuff. And I was just like, he made me feel so better. And I was at work at the time when we was talking and stuff, and he made me feel so much better, like he just made me feel so much better, honestly. He really did. He was, like, really, really, like, supportive after that. Like, he had to apologize because at first he was, like, real mad at me. Like, don't tell me. And how I told him is I said, I'm expecting. And he was like, what? Because he was supposed to be, okay, how I told him was because he was supposed to be coming down here for my mom's um ordination. Her ordination. Because my mom's a, a preacher. So he's supposed to be coming down here for her ordination. But what had happened was, um, my mom was like, no, tell him. Like, I wanted to wait until he came down here. I was going to take them all out to eat. And then I was going to pull him aside and, like, tell him. But she was like, no, tell him. So, and I, what I mean by them all, my aunt was coming too. But my aunt already know. I, like, I already had told my aunt. So, um... I, that's the reason why I had called him because I really didn't want to tell him over the phone but I had told him like I'm expecting and he was like don't tell me that no don't tell like he got real like you could just hear the disappointment in his voice like why did you do that why would you do that like and I was just like damn man like yeah, I'm having a baby, but it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, y'all. It's not the end of the world. You having a baby is not the end of the world. Like, your world is not finna end because of a child. Like, if anything, it's gonna level up and get better. Like, but I can understand where my people was coming from. I can understand where my granddad was coming from, where my dad was coming from, where my mom was coming from. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's how I told, like, the, mo the more, you know, like, important people like my sister I she already knew I told my oldest brother he already had known so it was like that was, and my cousin my cousin was the first one to know if y'all watch my other video y'all know that my cousin my little cousin was the first person to know um that I was pregnant but yeah this is the end of this video don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every time I post. And I'll see y'all in my next video. I'm trying to like really post every day because I really be just sitting in this house honestly quarantining. So I'm like, I might as well just start posting, you know, every day. So then my child, my, my baby girl can look back at all these videos and like watch them and be like, damn, this is about me. So <laughs> that's really what I'm doing it for. I'm not really doing it for the views and like to get big, but you know, I'm just doing it because I like talking to the camera and I just want to, you know, share some stuff so she can go back and look at it and watch it and be like, oh, that's my mama. Like she talk about me. She talk about how she told and like stuff like that. So yeah, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video.